I recently did a video on the cost of living in Los Angeles because this is the city that I'm currently living in and somebody asked me here on YouTube to do a cost comparison video between LA and San Diego where I lived for the past seven years. So this video is for you. If you are thinking about moving to either LA or San Diego or maybe you're like, what's really the biggest difference here? I'm gonna tell you about that in this video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Justine with Debt Free Millennials, the channel to help you crush your debt and live payment free. And when I paid off $35,000 in student loan debt in just two years, five months, I was able to free up a ton of money so that my husband and I could actually leave small town Kansas and experience another part of the country. We moved to San Diego, California in 2015 where my husband was working as an engineer and I was trying to figure out what I was supposed to do with my life and <laughs> Long story short, I am now a full-time content creator here in Southern California, which sounds so cliche. I'm sure there are like a bajillion content creators here in LA and San Diego, but anyway, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the cost of living in these two cities and what are the pros and cons of each city. So let's talk first about what I like about LA and what I like about San Diego. First, what I like about LA. There are different pockets of Los Angeles and each pocket has its own story, right? This particular city that we are in, in LA, and I keep that private just for security and privacy reasons, but I feel like it's, it almost has that small town suburban vibe, but I still have access to the big city. I still can drive into downtown. I can drive across to Hollywood. It's going to take some time <laughs> to get there, but I feel like in my own little bubble and pocket of LA, it just feels very quaint and quiet oddly enough. It also feels very family friendly and safe and clean. So I really like this area of LA. It doesn't feel like a grimy city like I was used to when I lived in downtown San Diego. Speaking of San Diego, what did I like about this? And keep in mind, when I was living in San Diego, Kyle and I were living in a high rise apartment in downtown San Diego. We were kind of on the northern side of downtown, but we were a mile walk from Petco Park. We were a mile walk from Little Italy and a just about over a mile to Seaport Village and kind of where the marina was. What I loved about living there is that it was super walkable any time of the year. We could just get out and walk and we never drove our car, which is amazing. And which is how we got away with only having one car while we were there the entire seven years. I also really love how friendly San Diego is. As somebody who is a Midwestern native and I'm originally from Kansas City, I really thrive on friendliness and friendly interactions when I'm going about my day or when I'm out shopping. <laughs> In fact, uh, my girlfriend and I, and she's originally from Queens, New York, we went to Costco and I was just chatting it up with the Costco cashier and she was like, you, why are you being so friendly? I'm like, am I? I don't, I don't think I'm being friendly. And she's like, that's weird. Well, it turns out that the person on the other side of the register was being just as friendly and nice to me. And that's what I loved about San Diego. I felt like I was getting that Midwestern hospitality, but really it was just kind of this laid back ocean beachy vibes that I was getting out of that. Also, San Diego is very transient. There are a ton of people who are constantly moving to the city and then moving away. And probably because <laughs> we're gonna get to what I don't like about this city, right? Because it's just so freaking expensive that people end up moving out. But very transient. And I felt like when I met a native, it was like meeting a unicorn. Wow, you were actually born and raised here in San Diego and you never left? incredible because most people leave. Okay, let's talk about what I don't like about each of these cities. Uh, so for LA, <laughs> it 
it's just so expensive. It is way, way expensive, more expensive than San Diego. And when I talk about expensive, I'm talking about the cost of rent and the cost of purchasing a home in LA. It is just hands down the most r ridiculously expensive you'll find outside of the Bay Area and probably New York. And LA is easily going to be one of the top three most expensive places to live in. Also, the second to that is the traffic. The amount of highway traffic that is in Los Angeles is just mind-numbing. I went from LA to San Diego on a quick trip down there and I went one mile in like one hour. It was so crazy. I hate it. And so that's why a lot of people when they live in LA, they end up only really like living in their immediate city and then like the surrounding cities and that that's it. It's very rare for somebody to try to make a drive either inland or go out to the beach if they live in opposite parts of LA just because the traffic is so wild and crazy. Another thing is LA is prone to homelessness. The climate is, is mild and temperate, so it makes it really easy for somebody who is homeless to, to live here and live here long term. So you're going to see a lot of that, especially in the inner city or, or some other neighborhoods that are not doing really well and kind of that grind me gritty areas of LA you're going to see that more often and speaking of San Diego and what I don't like about San Diego is pretty much the same thing especially living downtown we actually went back to San Diego last month and I parked the car first of all I had to pay for parking which in the area of LA that I'm in now that never happens so I was like oh yeah I gotta pay for parking and then as soon as I stepped out of my car and I was walking down the street, it just immediately saw a homeless person passed out on the sidewalk and I saw two people who were clearly on drugs and it's just, you know, you get exposed to that. When you live in an area, an urban city like that, you kind of get used to it, sadly, unfortunately. So when I had time away and then I came back, it was like, oh my gosh, yeah, wow, the streets are real dirty. There's a lot of homelessness. You have to really be on your guard, and as my dad would say. <laughs> Feel like my dad's here now be aware of your surroundings truly you do have to be aware of your surroundings and see exactly what's going on around you and so that's what i don't like about san diego downtown san diego specifically but there are other pockets of san diego that definitely felt like uh, i don't know ocean beach could be that way and some other pockets of san diego also the traffic i mean the traffic's not anywhere as bad as what la is but the traffic is still bad I mean, if you're talking about leaving work anywhere between the hours of like 2 p.m. and definitely 6.30 ish, be prepared to be in traffic during that time, especially if you live out east in the suburbs and you're commuting west and towards the city or towards the coast. And also San Diego is prone to homelessness as well. Like I said, especially downtown, you're going to get a lot of that. And there is a particular street. If you're walking down C Street, I really would discourage you from walking, you know, either west or east on that street because that is where the, the trolley goes and a lot of tents end up popping along that route and on that block. So definitely avoid C Street if you can. Let's talk about the basic living expenses, compare them side to side. So for LA, my rent is currently $4,200 a month. In San Diego, my rent was at $2,895 a month. So that's a big difference. What really is like the big determining factor here? Well, obviously the locations are different, right? The LA cost of living is just higher. But also I think if I'm comparing these units side by side because we are still in like a condo apartment situation, the LA apartment is slightly larger, so about 300 square feet more. And we also get a private garage, like our own garage, which is fantastic. Whereas in San Diego, we had underground parking that was secure, but it was 
basically like a big parking garage with assigned parking slots. The cell phone plans are still $30, $35 per line. Mint Mobile for the win. If you haven't checked out Mint Mobile, definitely check out my affiliate link below. $30 per month for the unlimited data plan. It's fantastic. Now, internet in San Diego, we were using Google Web Pass, which was $70 per month. It, here in LA, we are using the T-Mobile Wi-Fi, and that's $50 per month, so actually a little bit cheaper. Electricity and gas in San Diego was around $138 per month, and electricity and gas in LA is around $111 per month. Honestly, they're, they're pretty side by side, so I would just count that as a wash. Also, because our water is rolled into our rent. I'm not entirely sure how much we pay for water, but that is included both in our San Diego rent and our LA rent, which I'm really thankful for that. Now, groceries in San Diego was $770 per month, while groceries in LA is around $796 per month. This is for two people and a toddler. This also includes toiletries like shampoo, toilet paper, paper towels, and alcohol. So beer, liquor, all of that stuff is rolled into our grocery budget. So they're about the same. Car insurance is $67 per month in San Diego. It's probably going to be higher in LA. I still need to switch over my premium to make sure that's all taken care of, but it's most likely going to be a little bit higher. Gas for our car. We spent around $88 per month in San Diego. Again, we never drove, so we walked everywhere. Gas is a little bit higher here in LA, $100. $15 per month and that's mainly because the area of LA that we're in is not walkable. I do have to drive pretty much every day, but my drive times are less than 10 minutes to the grocery store, to drop off Quinn at daycare, to go shopping. All of the fun stuff is less than a 10 minute car ride, which is fantastic. I love that so much. Okay, speaking of dropping Quinn off at daycare. <laughs> so daycare in LA is $2,200 a month for full-time care. So that includes diapers, wipes, breakfast, lunch, snack, which is awesome. I don't have to pack any meals when I drop off Quinn. When we were in San Diego, we were using a nanny and that was $3,200 a month. That is the same as what you would pay in LA. So they're about equal there. So all in all, the San Diego basic living expenses were around $7,300 and basic living expenses for us in LA was around $7,600. So definitely slightly more expensive to be in LA. All right, then the free and fun stuff between LA and San Diego, there's so much to do. Being in such a mild climate, you have access to outdoor activities year round. In San Diego, you can go to Balboa Park for free. You can go to the beaches for free. Then there's the San Diego Zoo, which is around, I think, $50 for a day pass, but definitely check out the annual pass for $120 every year. That's what Kyle and I did. Fantastic. And you literally go twice, three times it pays for your ticket. Happy hours are about the same amount of money in LA as it is in San Diego. So about $50, $60 uh, per couple, if we're talking about both of us getting a couple of drinks and a couple of appetizers. The fun stuff in LA, I'm still working on, but it's so fun. I've made an LA bucket list, but we've done the Getty Museum, which is free. We did an NFL game, which was like $300 per ticket, which was expensive, but so worth it seeing the Chiefs beat the Chargers. Then we did Disneyland for around $180 per ticket. And then of course the beach is just right here. So that is always free. So how do you pick between the two? They're pretty comparable, right? Like actually LA is gonna be slightly more expensive, a little bit more traffic. I think it really does depend on your lifestyle and what season of life that you're in. If you're single and you want access to doing a lot of fun stuff, I don't know, San Diego might be the place and maybe that's because I'm biased and you know, Kyle and I were newlyweds when we did downtown San Diego and it was fantastic. Another thing is you're less car dependent in San Diego than you would be in LA because I feel like any point of interest that you wanna to get to in San Diego, you could just hop in an Uber and also they have a free ride golf cart system for downtown San Diego specifically where it's free. 
You literally hop on their app, get in the golf cart and go. It's called Circuit. So if you download Circuit, you can access the free ride system and then go any point downtown specifically. So that's great. In LA, having a car is really, really helpful. I've tried to use or wanted to use the Metro and get around by train, but the train doesn't even take you all the way downtown. It only takes you halfway there. And I'm like, well, what's the point in using the train if you can't even get from one side of LA to the other? So that is kind of a bummer. And if you want something that feels small or a little bit more laid back, I would say San Diego, but also there are pockets, like I was saying, the pocket of LA that we're currently in definitely feels laid back, but it's more family friendly. I would not say this is where I would go if I was single or I was trying to meet people or if I didn't have kids, like I would probably stay out of this area. And I know this is not helpful because I'm not sharing exactly where I'm located. <laughs> But if you kind of do your research with LA, I'm sure you could guess. So I don't know, it, what are you leaning towards? Do you like LA, San Diego? San Diego is gonna feel way more laid back. LA it gives you tons of activities and things to do. Either way, I can't believe I'm saying this. Either way, I don't think you can go wrong and enjoy this time, even if it's just a short time in Southern California to have an adventure. Let me know what you're choosing below if you do LA or San Diego. Leave me a comment, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out Mint Mobile if you wanna reduce that cell phone data plan. I know you want to. If you're paying more than $30 a month, you best go check them out. I'll leave a link below and I'll catch you in the next one.